Page 243, Waltz. One of many, many, many waltzes. So it's a solo piece, another piece you can learn to play. So what's the big deal here? It doesn't look nearly as hard as the last solo piece. I think the idea is that it uses the two chord, and we're trying to use music with a two chord. We can hear the harmony and all that. Okay. I'm just going to go through the process I use for learning a piece of music, and whatever happens, happens. I look it over, it's a page long. Now, it's actually longer than that because of the repeat signs, but still, the music-wise, it's only a page to deal with. There's no sharps or flats in the key signature, so it's either in the key of C major or A minor. If I look at the end here, it ends on a C chord. I'm guessing we're in the key of C major, but do the scales and arpeggios for both. C major and A minor? Mm-hmm. Three eight time signatures, so an eighth note gets a count. That explains all these left-hand eighth notes. Right hand first. I want a fingering that lets me connect things. I'll just lift up for the rest. Starting here. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, rest. Now they want you to do the fourth. Why? Because we have a B coming up in measure seven and we're preparing for it. That's good. So we get one, two, three, two. If you didn't prepare for it, you gotta cross over. I prefer not to cross over if I don't have to. So I like the idea of a fourth there on measure six. So go on, this is measure nine. You're here. And measure 13, just come up one. And then now we're coming down one. I'd rather not do that. that you can cross over, it's okay. There's nothing wrong with it. I just prefer not to if I don't have to, and I don't have to if I just prepare for it like I did up above. So it's measure 19 instead of here. Yeah. I'm going to go maybe fifth finger. And then I can do a two, one, and then five. So I didn't cross over. So going back to measure 17 where it starts here. And then Use a use of five here for measure 19. Uh, you don't have to do a five here uh, at the end. You could do a four, whichever is comfortable to you. I could I could do a four here. This a uh, third to the last measure instead of a five to four. If I do a one here, I do a four here. Because I'm in that position. That works. It's just different ways of fingering it. You decide, your, your teacher will decide for you, whatever. Left hand's got the broken chords. It's, it's like a 5 7 chord, we're not using the F. That's all. It's a 5 chord then. The major 7 reach down. And then going on, here, are 5 chords. Measure 13. And for measure 18, it's C natural. They don't need the natural sign. That's why it's in parentheses. It's just a courtesy sign. It's a natural. Anyway. So where are the two chords? Well, these. Anytime you got that kind of a thing. Which, if I look around, I see it's in measures, what, 15 and 16? We got to use it a little bit. It's also at the bottom, measure 21, 22. It's just first inversion, but it's still a two chord. And then here, five, seven. Okay, put the hands together. Now, when I first do this, I might hesitate, that's fine. I just want to know how the hands would work here. you lift up for the rest in the right hand. And I go through and I put the whole thing together. Uh, then go back over it slowly and carefully and get rid of the hesitations. Now I say that real quick. Oh, no big deal. Get rid of the hesitations. Actually, it could take weeks or months to get rid of the hesitations. And that's where you have to break it up into pieces. And like you're only doing the first eight measures or so. Get that good. And then once you have it, set it aside. Don't play it anymore. 
then focus on maybe the next eight measures or whatever and get that good. Take it in pieces. And then once you have all the pieces working, then put it all together. You'll learn it much more quickly if you do that. And after that, the articulation. This is pretty connected. They have the slurs in the left hand. That, that way you, you know you're not going to do staccatos. But keep in mind they are slurs, they're not phrases. You're not going to separate them, you just slur it all together. So I suggest you just connect this left hand all the way through. You lift up for the rest, of course, but otherwise just connect the left hand. The right hand you have the phrases. You also have a rest, so the rest, the phrasing is built in. The rest give it to you, so it's pretty connected. Then after the articulation, I do the dynamics. P dash F at the beginning. When you see two dynamics, you know you're going to play it at least twice. And we are, there's a repeat sign. So the first time we play it, we play it soft. And it, that I'm referring to, is the melody. This left hand, very soft. And that's going to be a kicker because this left hand is busy. And as it does that, it's going to get louder all by itself. So you got to be aware of that. Keep the left hand out of the way. I want this soft. This has to be so really soft. Repeat, now I'm going to do it loud. The left hand can come up a little bit, but keep it in the background. And then after the repeats, now I come down to moderately soft. Whatever you think moderately soft, the left hand is very soft. Measure 13, we get a crescendo. Well, they don't tell you how much to crescendo. And in measure 17, you're going to soft. So the crescendo isn't lasting very long. So what's going on? Well, again, you got to decide from the music what you need to do. Let the music tell you. What do you feel? This that measure 13, I'm moderately soft. I'm going to stay soft for measure 14. Now I'm going to go on. There, I'm going to crescendo going da da da. For some reason, that that's what they wanted. So here. There, and the left hand stays out of the way. And then all of a sudden, I'm soft with an accent. Echo that, very soft. The accent takes it up a notch from where it's at. So in measure 18, that accent would take you from soft to moderately soft. In measure 20, that accent would take you from very soft up to soft. See, the accent just takes it up a little bit from where you're at. Then you get a crescendo and a decrease, you swell up. Come up to about a moderately soft and back down. So, it's better to get it comfortable enough that everything under your fingers where you can feel these dynamics. You feel these getting louder and softer. We force it at first, it's rather mechanical, but you want to get past that so you can feel this. Remember the not so accents? One, two, three, four, five, six, okay. Then the speed, Vivace is, well, that's fast. It's, it, it moves, it's not super fast, but it's fast. It's faster than Allegro. Experiment. Don't copy me. If I would practice this a little bit, I am sure I would play it quite differently. You get in there and you're feeling it. You can almost feel it in one. One, 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 one. One, one, one. But it's supposed to be a waltz, so it's got to be a one, two, three, one, two, three, but it's a fast waltz. So don't go too fast. People trip over themselves and whatever, but the idea is fast. I don't know how fast, just fast. Let's play this together very slowly and check the notes and the rhythms. I'm not going to do the dynamics. 
I'll do the repeats. I'll do the phrasing and all that junk. I'll give us three counts. Now, one, ready, go. Thank you. 